So one of the biggest questions that I get from people that are looking to buy art is, yo, Mariah, if you had a thousand dollars to purchase an art piece, but you wanted to get a return on your investment, what artists would you look at and what pieces would you buy? That really started to get my head turning and it made me think about how important it is to diversify your art portfolio. Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's Mariah Elise back at you guys again, ready to talk about the art market with you guys and tell y'all yet another way how I invest in blue chip art. Now, the first thing that I want to point out is that I am not an expert. I'm just giving you guys the information as I learn it. Another thing that I want to point out how important it is for you guys to press that red subscribe button if you want me to continue to give this type of content. I need your support. I would love to have your support. Thank you guys for even being here and watching. So when I really started thinking about how to diversify my art portfolio, I had to really sit and ponder. That's a good word. I had to really sit and ponder, how does that even look? How do you diversify an art portfolio? Well, I came up with a system. I know that now I need to have certain type of buy. So when you're buying art, you need to think of it this way. Is this going to be a passion buy? Is this going to be a future investment buy? Or is this going to be a now investment buy? I'm going to break that down a little bit different. Is this going to be a passion buy, a blue chip buy, or a masterworks buy? Now, this is what I mean by this. A passion buy is something that when you go to an art gallery or you're going to an art fair or wherever you're buying your work, you fall in love with that piece, but you know for a fact it's not going to appreciate in value. It's just something that you want in your house and you really want to just be able to enjoy, look at, and talk about. Now, a blue chip a blue chip buy is when you've been following an artist for a certain time period and you see that their work is going up in value and you think that maybe they have some type of potential to be represented by a blue chip artist or the value of their work is continuously climbing then you take a chance on them you even love their work you take a chance you buy their piece you put it in your home you pass it down and perhaps over time it's going to go up in value that's the most riskiest one so the last one is gonna be the master work. That's gonna be the one that's the least risky, the one that you really plan on making money from. You really wanna gain, you really wanna be able to invest in this piece and get a return, maybe over a span from five to seven years or maybe even longer than that. So as I thought about the importance of diversifying my portfolio, I started looking into websites and applications that allow me to buy shares of art. Now I told you guys about Otis, which I'm a really big fan of uh, in my last video, but today I'm gonna talk about something called Masterworks. Now the website is masterworks.io. So I really don't wanna waste too much of you guys' time. So I wanna jump into masterworks.io, how to use this website, what's it good for and how it leads me to understand what artists that i might invest in blue chip or master in the near future so the very first thing you want to do is grab your phone and go to masterworks.io once you get there you're going to see that it's going to offer you the opportunity to join an exclusive community of blue chip art investors that's already enticing to me because i'm like i didn't even know i could do this all right, so you can scroll down and really just read the information if you would like. So keep in mind, it says join an exclusive community. The community is exclusive. But the community is exclusive because you have to go through an interview process to actually even get invited into this community of investors. It's not that difficult. I got invited within a few days. Um, I'm not sure what their decline process looks like, but I do urge you guys to just try. It. You want to scroll down and press request invitation. Once everything comes up, you want to apply for the membership by putting in your information. After you put it in, you're going to request the information and they're probably going to set up some type of call for you guys to have an interview. So guys, once you're finally able to go ahead and log in into the website, the first thing you're going to notice is they're telling you what they're offering at that time. Now, right now at this given time, what they're offering is the Cicely Brown, a Cicely Brown piece. Uh, a Basquiat piece as well as a Monet. Now, I am clearly super interested in Basquiat. I never thought I would be able to get my hands on a Basquiat, but here it is, the opportunity right in front of me. And I really love this app because they allow you to really dig into, is this gonna be a good investment? Let me make sure this is not just a passion purchase. So I'm looking here at the um, homepage of Masterworks and it tells me right off top 
how much the initial offering was. Now for this piece in particular, the initial offering was about $5.6 million. And they tell you the gross return of similar works, meaning gross return of works that look very similar to the piece that we're thinking about investing in. And it's been about 17.5% increase. Now I wanna click on painting details here because when you click on painting details, it gives you so much more information. So as I scroll down, I'm able to see that 18.2% was the historical artist market returns. So over history, he's making about an 18.2% gain. Um, you're able to look at the deal terms in depth. You guys can take a read for that yourself. But what's really important to me is directly after Masterworks acquired the piece, they got it appraised and it was appraised for $6 million. Now keep in mind, they bought the piece for about $5.1 million. Directly afterwards, it was appraised for $6 million. What's also some information that's really hard to find out there, but they provide to you, is the low estimate and the high estimate that the auction houses are giving for this particular work. Now the low estimate is about $5.1 million and the high estimate is about $7.7 .7 million. So you're able to see what the risk is, how much you might lose and how much you might gain if this piece sells an auction. So if we look at the upper left-hand corner, we're gonna see here that this piece was first bought at $20,900. The very last time that it was sold, which is 33 years later, of course, but the very last time that this particular piece was sold, it was sold for $110 million. Now, the really cool thing about this is, is you can just scroll down and you can see the history of everything that he's ever sold in auction, and you can see the results. So you see all of this green, you click, you continue to click uh, more results you see all of this green you're like man you know what this this artist would be a really good investment and my risk would be very low i'm probably gonna make some money if i invest in this artist and i love this app because it allows you to see that i mean if you guys know anything about the art world you'll know how secretive it is and they don't really tell you this type of information and if you want it you have to pay a pretty penny to get this information so masterworks makes it oh my god it is the best thing that i've ever found to keep in mind whatever blue chip artist you're interested in you can go to masterworks.io if they're a blue chip artist you can look at their auction results you can see from the beginning of their auction career to the end of their auction career or to currently presently how they've done in auction so you're able to really understand what that artist's market value really is and do you really want to invest in this artist in particular now again i want to tell you guys that once you invest in this you can go view the work in a soho gallery that masterworks have but you're not going to have this piece in your home it's just a part of your portfolio Remember, you're diversifying your art portfolio. You're gonna own those passion buys at home. You might even own those blue chip buys at home. These market, these masterwork buys that, if you're me and you have the amount of money that I have, these masterwork buys, they're gonna be sitting in someone else's storage, on someone else's gallery walls, and you have to be okay with that. You have to know that that was an investment and you're looking to make a return on your investment. Even if you owned it, and if, even, even if it was in your house, you would be looking to sell it. So look guys, that's all I have for you guys today. I do want to mention this really like dope ass shirt that I have on, which is the Sistine Chapel. And it gives you, oh, uh, you see that? I thought it was cool. It's like 90 degrees outside, but I'm wearing this today because I'm feeling hella artsy. So look guys, if you like this kind of content, please subscribe. I'll be putting out more information on what I'm buying, what I'm thinking about purchasing, what I think would be a really good buy for you, what artists you guys should look out for. Sometimes I might stray and just like get into history. Let me know what questions you guys have and I'll be more than willing to engage. Thanks for showing up. Thanks for being here. Love you guys. Peace.